Hello, my Bill for Thousand Nation. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everyone's having a great day. If not, I hope it gets better from here. We are back with another That Chapter. This one is titled Exploring the Sun Vanished Disturbing Twitter Profile. We've actually heard, I think, a little bit about this on Lazy Masquerade, I think. I, th I think. But it really intrigued me. I like stuff like this. So I'm excited to get in today's video. This was actually suggested to me by a viewer. And hopefully you guys are excited as I am. And if you are, please go ahead, turn them lights down low, put on something comfy cup or something special. Let's get intrigued. Hey, so um, hey. kind of like oh, watching Magalas uh, straight away. There is another creepy Twitter story. And although straight away was kind of, it was kind of accidental in that tie he received the message. This one is purposely posting, well, creepy stuff. Come on guys, you know my channel. The Sun Vanished. We got you, bro. Created in That's April 2018. And this account seems obsessed with, well, you know. You know, Sun when I started looking into vanishing. this, I thought that maybe it was metaphorical in that, you know, the Sun Vanished, his partner left him or something like that, but uh, no. Seems like the sun has actually vanished. Okay, the first post was on April 30th, simply titled, Help. Since then, we've just gotten more mysterious and cryptic posts about how dark it is, even though it's late morning, and how they can hear tornado sirens on clear days. All of the posts are, Siren well, head. apocalyptic, seemingly focused the on the sun disappearing and the end of the world. But what... Let's see. I like stuff like this. I mean, we all know it's not real. We see the sun every day. But just the sheer fact that someone can go through all this stuff, make something of it, this is one hell of imagination, one hell of everything like that's so cool i don't have that ability i'm not very imaginative i have an imagination i well i used to have an imagination whenever i was younger i mean i guess you, you, as an adult i still do have an imagination i imagine what it's like to be rich sometimes i imagine what it's like to own my own island like we we imagine things i mean but to sit down and be like man what would be really cool what would be really exciting what if the sun just vanished and I made a, like a whole little series on how the sun vanished? Like, how do you just get that idea, sit down with it and make something of it like that? That is to me, that's so cool. That That's like some of the coolest shit ever. Like, I we know it's cap. We all know it's fucking cap as shit. But it's cool all at the same time. Like, that's that's talent. That's skill. Yeah. And it literally made me so intrigued where I want to watch more about what the sun ban is shit. And you guys came through for me, so hells yeah. The sun disappeared. Things get even weirder when he posts a filming of a TV news clip where the news presenter cheerfully announces the sun has disappeared and the world has spun into darkness. Like it would. The news reporter says it is reminiscent of New England's dark day in 1780, when, as you've probably guessed, they had a day so dark candles were needed during the afternoon to see around. What that was that? most likely due to smog and smoke from forest fires. The news oh. clip finishes with the mm -hmm. reporter mm -hmm. saying things will get back mm -hmm. to normal very soon. Yeah, we just went through this like last summer whenever all the fires in Canada was going on. I mean, there there was times where it should have been like really bright and it's kind of overcast. Oh, I never thought about that. And I'm at, cause I watch YouTube. I watch uh, like Jones like survival and Northern seclusion. I, I love that channel. I, I love the outdoorsy stuff. And like he lives in the Minnesota area. It's on his channel. I'm not giving away no secrets. I mean, it's. And. I. He 
he does a lot of outdoorsy stuff and it, it, it would be it, it, where they're so close. There was times where it looked like it was evening time. The sun was starting to set and it would be like noon. And then like when it was actually evening time, it was already fucking dark. That's crazy. I never thought about that. Damn, I'm stupid. Disappearance of the sun with violent riots taking place in just about every major city. We are receiving an influx of reports of ransacking and looting from New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, and Washington, D.C. That's cool as shit. I wish I had that kind of talent. This is followed up by strange noises coming from outside. Stay in their homes. Meanwhile, experts are claiming this phenomenon to be an event similar to Cloverfield? Some hit a window? And I'm like not talking about window. somebody just, you know, knocking on your door. I'm talking about Cthulhu emerging from the ocean. The posts that the power keeps going out, and I keep hearing noises outside, sometimes far away, sometimes close. Man. And focus on the end of the world Woo! actually happening. They first they report the power Pink. is out, but that returns. Is that a plane? Looks like a plane. Helicopter? What the fuck? Gunshots are heard, and the situation is quickly deteriorating. Said I can't sleep. I think the noises outside are gunshots. It is still dark. The news said it would be back by normal by now, but it isn't. It isn't. Why isn't it? Now the news isn't even coming in. No signal noise. TV signal is gone. The noises keep happening outside. And I can barely keep track of the time anymore. I am, honest to God, terrified. Man, I'm even getting the fucking chills, man. My hair is starting to stand up on it. Taking a Twitter poll to decide if I they am should go so tempted to go not, outside. Should I? And they does a poll. They something yes or unexplainable no. to them. Love it. I went outside. I saw something out there. I can't really explain, but I can. But I can show you. Unexplainable to me too. But show very me. eerie. Show me. Show me. Gots to see. Gots to know. You're in the woods. You're in the woods, still in the woods. That's a tree. That's a gunshot. You might want to get out them damn woods. I don't think you're supposed to be there, bud. Hummy, hummy, what the fuck was that? As the story goes on, they report the stars have all gone out. I looked for stars or planets as as you all suggested. The sky was absolutely pitch black. Could be because of clouds or something else. Motherfucking UFO, mother ship. It's the mother ship. And it's getting colder and colder. Day, day three, still no sign of daylight. It's getting colder. Ooh, I didn't think about that either. Oh, bruh. Yeah, you gotta have that big old pearly thing up in the sky that keeps you all nice and toasty. Damn. It reminds me of uh, The Simpsons when Mr. Burns stole the fucking sun. They've seen the flashing lights... A person just ran by on my street. Two of the same flashing lights I saw yesterday were following him. They were gone by the time I got my phone out to record. It's following other. Oh, oh, what is that one movie? I, I, okay, hold on. It, 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 
this dude and his buddy are trying to like sell an idea or some shit. They're like overseas in Germany or Russia or somewhere. B- Bolivia. I don't know. But it's the two dark haired boys and the two girls and they're stuck in the city and the there's aliens. You can't see them, but like whenever they get close to you, like light bulbs and stuff like that will start to glow because they're made out of energy. And like the only thing you see is like the little sparks of light falling after people and then like they get hit by electricity and just disintegrate. I don't remember the name of it, but it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. You're safe inside of glass because, you know, electricity and glass and whatnot. People in the streets. Reminds me of that. This is like a bunch of like my favorite movies all rolled into one. And the chaos and anarchy. No sign of activity outside. Come to think of it, it has been a while since I heard a gunshot. Is dying down. Though that seems more ominous than it reassuring. Does. That means everyone's dying or dead. The next time they post, it's a recording of something flying something over their house. Something just flew over my house. We don't see anything, but we hear it. It sounds large, metallic, and, and not of this world. Now how do we know? There's so many things that we don't know about in this world. War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds right there, bruh. I watch Tom Cruise movies. I know what I'm talking about. This is a good movie, though. Oh, I didn't read it. Hold on. Hold up. Emotive. I couldn't see it. Too dark outside, but a wave of heat just came over me. Feels like the temperature increased by like 10 to 15 degrees. Ooh, that's the exhaust, bro. I read it. Move on. Oh, thank Finally, God! One of my friends still is still alive. With someone in he the just texted world, me, or at least one of his friends. What makes you think that's your friend? It could be the aliens. It's the fucking aliens. The Don't conversation isn't answer. reassuring. Dude, you have and no fucking idea. And neither is what happens next. Now we have another problem. What's that? Why do we keep getting problems? There's no sun. You can't see these problems. Who the fuck are you? Sorry, honey. You keep on knocking, but you can't get in. Apparently, this, this guy has been has standing, been standing completely outside their still house. with his back towards me. I have no idea how long he has been standing there. Completely still with their back turned toward him. He's still standing there. He has no moved. idea how long he's been there. Could be minutes. It could have been hours. His friend seems familiar. Get away from the familiar. window. Keep all lights off. Don't talk to them or let them in. If you see any flashing lights, hide. Then suddenly, the stalker standing outside Whoever disappears. Whoever was standing outside is gone now. But not for long. I know I keep reading them as he's talking, but he hasn't been reading all of them, so I just want to make sure you guys get the full, the full information, okay, bro? Yeah. Shit. That's what it says. Not me. I mean, I did say it, but you know what I mean. You keep on knocking, but you can't come. I sang this song already. New phone. Who this? Don't do that. I have a gun. I have a dog. And my dog is very proficient with that gun. Then he receives this message. Hey, brother. I am from British Columbia. I don't know much, but I do know that you should never look into the red light. Ever. If you do, you become like the guy who was at your door. Clearly something is going on with those lights. They're being hypnotized. 
that are more than likely linked to the large craft that flew over his house. If you stare at those too long, you become like the man outside his house. So basically, don't look at the light. But see, there's still lights on. Are those all just solar what power? Are they? A zombie? Was they just solar power? Drone? Was they just solar power? And mind controlled zombie drone? It's we an find alien. out that his friend's name is. Good news. I'm closer to you now. Bad news is I'm out of fuel. There are no active gas stations anywhere close to me. All the power is down, and all the gas stations nearby are electric gas pumps. Well, son of a bitch, you should have got a Tesla. It's Daniel, and they make a plan to meet up. Oh, Though no. it seems that it will not be easy. I'm still eight or nine hours he away. He has to make a choice, stay or leave and drive the nine hours. Twitter mm. decides for him. Yeah, fucking Twitter. Leave that but to be honest, die. it quickly becomes apparent that maybe staying wasn't the best idea. Oh, you should always flee. Someone is screaming outside. <laughs> Trying to make it interesting. Oh. What? Snoogle boogers. Don't go home. Yeah, go home. No. What are you saying, bruh? Though neither is traveling. All right. <clears throat> After hearing that, traveling at all seems like a terrible idea. Well, if you were thinking of driving eight hours before, I think your answer is quite clear now. Twitter users advise him to get info from Danyan. Clearly, you need to stay where you are. Forget about leaving your friend, though. Forget about leaving your friend, though. Should try to make it to you since he's already out and about. Ask him how he's avoiding detection. You have some words. Do. About what's the best course of action to take? Run like fuck. Though, to be fair, it seems like he... I'm just staying in the car. It's locked and off ATM at the moment, right? After I catch a few winks, I'm going to try to take a look around. All right, stay safe. Oh, he's Bud. You too. Yeah, Bud. He's kind of screwed either way. You're fucked, Bud. Hey, Bud. He then sees something hey, outside. What do you see? I can see a faint light outside my bedroom window going downstairs to check it out. Why would you want to fucking do that, bro? They told you not to look at these motherfucking lights, homie. What? What'd you see, bro? I don't see shit. Why is that that seizure warning, bro? Oh, it's the red light. Don't look he at the red light. Daniel, who really doesn't seem to be in any better a position than he is. Are you absolutely is. sure? Yeah, I'm sure. What street did both like of us live on when we were kids? Why? Lights. Answer the question, Fraser Road. Okay, we are good. Damn it, don't scare me like that. I was looking around, just found this. No earthly idea what it means. Beware of headlights. Maybe it's meaning like it. Beware of headlights because it's not a car. It's a motherfucking alien, bro. And the story ain't over yet. So what's the plot? What's the point? What's the message? Have fun. I don't know. Don't ask me, dude. I only work here. I have no idea. It's not even over yet. Excited to see where this goes, though. Me too. I mentioned Cthulhu at the start of this video. It does have a very cosmic horror feel to it. It does, and I love that. I'm just excited for our rightful HP, leaders love to crap, emerge man. from their slumber out of the oceans and, you know, rule us again. Am I right? So, guys, what do you think? Creepy, right? As of the posting of this video, it seems like the story of The Sun Vanished is far from over. I'll leave a link to the Twitter profile in the description of this that's so awesome though 
Like, I, I, I understand it's fake as shit. Like, no shit. We got it. But just the sheer fact that someone just pulled this out of their imagination, pulled it straight out their ass, and just threw it into the world like that. That is outstanding. I love people with imaginations like that. Man, they're going to rule the world one day. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This video, so you can follow the story for yourself. I got a feeling it's only just the beginning. Uh, if this keeps up, I may revisit. I follow it on, on Twitter myself, so I'll keep an eye on it, and I may make a follow-up to this video. Oh, my Twitter yeah. and Instagram thingies at the top uh, of my page, they're working now. So if you would like to follow me while I follow them, and you can also follow them, we can all follow each other. It can be like a weird Twitter follower gangbang thing. We, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Please I let me know your thoughts below. To gang bangs. Mike out. Excuse me. All right. I really enjoyed that. I love shit like this, man. That was fun. I like having fun. We have fun here. And if you guys, you know, want to see more stuff like that, just you know, leave links to the, in the description, man. Like, they're not shit. Just leave links down in the comments on some other videos that y'all like me to see. I like some. I would like to start doing some weird shit like this. Like, I don't know. We need to broaden our horizons here. Right? 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 All right. I really enjoyed today's video. If you all if y'all enjoyed today's video as much as I did, please go down there, leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. While you're down there, going over, slap that subscribe button. Become part of the B Five Nation. We do some crazy stuff here. And if you want to know when that crazy stuff happens, ding that bell and turn on all notifications. As always, be good to one another. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. It gets creepy in here. I like the creepy. We all likes the creepy.